Okay, um, good afternoon. I um, think this video should be maybe a basic of how to use Hybris Paint. Yeah, my gallery collection and online gallery. This one to see when you're on your data using some online artwork. This collection, most I think, maybe you see what they saved. And this one, this. So, more can be working on. So, let's go with this stuff here. Like, this process to create to create uh, a new layer of pictures here you see so this is to change the for that you get so all this one that can be clicked is once you click on the picture as you can see then see here come the details and stuff And this is to save to delete this to edit the picture if you have not done this to share this to play how the picture was being get made so now let's enter the new stuff this stuff is to make create your own frame or yourself the number put input this input your image without creating frame the size of your image the size of the stuff it will bring inside this for SD card all this stuff you are seeing here this stuff you are seeing here this one this one this one this one for twitter this one for you get you see this what i'm trying to twitter so say small back to gallery so i don't need it so i'm going to delete it so let's get back so and then this postcard this a4 this a4 people is for coming then but me i mostly use b5 because it has short is um the file little bit more you don't have a lot of space than the a4 okay so i make use of the b5 but this way you can increase the inches and millimeter you get so now we are inside the b5 i chose this one remove here this one is when how will I put it? Okay, let me try. Let me try. Okay, yeah, from here we have the trans um, transform. Does it want to move a part of the drawing? So let me demonstrate. As you can see. So, yeah, we have magic ones. Okay, let's use the magic. We close, when we close the circle, the magic ones is to just select inside the circle. You get you see it's going to select all your surface but most of the stuff are not selected okay, let me choose the bucket let me choose the color see two split that are only you get so these are the undo button here yeah. so we have the lasso lasso is just you are the one marking it okay i want to mark this side to mark the side you get that's the lasso work then we have the flitter the flitter is for a you get just try it one time just try all the flitter on a artwork when you are done painting and stuff that will be almost when we are done i can spin that one better this is brush we have a lot of brushes a lot of brush the one I use for drawing mostly I use the pen art. Yeah, yeah, the pen art I minimize the size so I know the basic part I'll use this for. However, it's I have you get so also the razor this I, I don't really make use of this. It's just like using your hand when you do a portrait drawing, trying to blend it with your finger. That's what I thought. This blunt I use it to blend, I use the blunt to blend. This mostly I use it as um we can of find it. Mostly I me I use it as a lasso to in painting when I do the drawing those add effect. I'm pretty sure that's what I mostly use it for. I don't know what all I use it for. The lips bucket I have explained it. This text even to write like when you do the comic page. This is a comic frame to create your comic stuff. And divide, then you get so then we have this. This is to copy color, it's to copy color. Mostly, you can use it by just clicking down on the stuff and to copy the color. And 
we have this this is to adjust the size of the stuff or turn it to the side the size like you can see here so so that's all i can explain about this this uh -huh, this i don't make use of all these all these i don't make use so the things are i make use of this after in case of see if i draw it like this sorry if i draw a line it's not it won't see it won't correct itself but when i click on the after and i draw the line it adjusts itself you see you see you see you can see that see this okay no sorry about that okay i'm sorry see the incorrect itself what i'm trying to explain there so this drawing to just to assist you if i want to draw a straight line instead of so it's my line will be straight if i want to draw a square to just draw it so mostly i use this one and this one for inking this two i use this for inking this one you can see maybe i just want to ink a part this one maybe i just want to ink and add this is curved this one is just straight that one is curved so that's the difference between the two mostly i use and all oh, this one i want to draw a circle i want to design my circle the way it should be you see for this one you can design just expand and decrease good this one is when i want to draw like an action comic trying to put the focus on the character alone that's when i do this you get so and then i have it then everything goes this one is to when you draw something this line it appears in the other side you can see you can see it appears in the other side so same as this draw here it appears in the other side too so uh, as for this to want to as for this as for this so i can also try it this is on um, at online when you click on this when you're on your data you see some fraud and features i can add the background stuff everything under this place so this one is like removing can I, okay um i didn't select the box let me move it here this is like to make the join here invisible so I select it press the magic to the okay wait I was thinking oh so is this one clearly yeah it will remove everything this one it will remove the magic one the magic stuff maybe and even if it's lazuda is there if it's lazuda is there it removes lazuda too see so some i didn't this have to cut it or for maybe to cut the drawing just to copy the paste in and you get so there's a lot so well actually i don't know what i use what this one is just for i haven't tried it but so these are some basic parts basic things i use in hybrids so the next thing that we're going to learn is going to be how to ink on hybrid pens from auto ink they will move to auto paint then after we learn how to paint then we teach ourselves how to draw hope you guys are with me so thanks for watching this video thank you and good luck try your best on how you can try to make yourself familiar with the ivory paint settings i also use um, midibank so i'm also doing a tutorial on that so thank you